I think it's here. Okay, let's go. Let's go get this. Okay, so we are opening this right now. Um, and, okay. So if you are concerned, I have sanitized this box already. Here we go. This is what's inside. I did get the GoPro Hero 9, and I also got the dual battery charger. So I did get two batteries, uh, which should help uh, quite a bit. So we're gonna set this one aside, and we are going to open up the Hero 9 first. So they did get rid of like the big plastic packaging, which is really nice. Uh, that was just a huge waste anyway. But here we go. So you open it from the bottom and it pulls out. And we've got this nice uh, little like travel case. So that's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Opening the travel case inside. We've got a USB A to C cable. We've got a battery, which is one of the new ones. And then we've got a couple different uh, mounts. This is just one of those sticky mounts uh, that you can put anywhere. And here is the GoPro Hero 9 right here. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like so excited. I mean, new cameras, obviously. Uh, we also have, there's a couple, there's also a couple like flyers in here and some uh, instructions. Check those out here in a second. That, okay, well, this is kind of weird now. So they've got this in here and it says, it says recycle on it. So I don't know if you're supposed to keep this or not, but I'll put that aside for now. Peel this off. All right, take off the back screen sticker. Take off the front LCD sticker. And there's a sticker for the lens. So, uh, still got the bottom mount uh, that you can mount like a, a selfie stick into or anything like that. Already, I can tell this is this is heavier. Uh, it's not like it's not like going to tire you out, I don't think, but uh, definitely definitely quite a bit heavier. So here's the door. They did add like an extra little lip right here uh, to be able to open it easier. That was one thing that was kind of hard on the old one. This door does not pop off, which is good. Thank you GoPro for fixing that. Oh my gosh. Inside we got the battery compartment, we got the SD card slot and the USB-C. So more instructions on how to charge batteries. Thank you. <laughs> Another USB a to C plug and the charging dock plus a second battery. So that's good. I'm going to see if there's a charge on this battery. Put that in there. Oh, that's loud. See, that's one thing I always turn off is that uh, beeping. Okay, here we go. Here and I is ready. Let's go. Hey, that's pretty cool. Check it out. Whoa, that front screen, that's actually kind of cool. It's definitely a much lower frame rate because uh, it's like really jumpy. Oh, pretty excited about this. Let's go through some of the settings uh, and let's just change. New custom presets. So this is something that you always want to do uh, to save a preset. Uh, activity, let's try that one. Lens wide and it can do hyper smooth boost in 4k 60 wide lens oh that's perfect that's exactly what i want bit rate we want to use high you always want to use high bit rate uh, 100 megabytes per second at 4k swipe down from the top and i'm guessing i'm gonna say maybe this one front screen options nice choose this uh, option to actual screen status only or off oh thank you gopro Thank you so much. I can turn off the front screen. That's beautiful. Cause sometimes uh, you just don't want it. Okay, one other thing I wanted to do was show you guys the size comparisons. Take my, this is called the shorty stick. And that's the one that I use all the time. So on the left is the Hero 8, Hero 9. 
the GoPro Hero 8 and all the previous generations of the Heroes, uh, like the black version, it's always felt like still like a really, really compact camera. This in your hands just feels quite a bit beefier. Uh, like it's very noticeable, I will tell you that. It's not like over the top. It doesn't feel like a totally different camera. It's just beefier. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, from the top down, you can just tell it's just a much bigger camera. In the back, let's check out these screens. Having the bigger screen on the back is really cool. Like that's, that's definitely a big improvement. And then having the front screen, the front color screen. Okay, I'm starting to get maybe kind of sold on it. I'm definitely glad that you can turn the front screen off. I'm only at 5% battery right now, so I am going to uh, turn this off. I'm gonna charge the batteries, and then in just a minute, we're gonna get ready to go for a run to test this out, and then come back and show you everything that I'm packing for my solo 50 miler tomorrow from nutrition, uh, hydration, clothes, shoes, all that kind of stuff, so that hopefully we can have a successful day tomorrow. So, let's go. Okay, now everything is exactly the same. I just changed the color from GoPro color to flat. This will also give you a good test of the audio because it's really windy right now. Coming across wind this way. And uh, probably be easier to color grade later in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so now we're in 5K, 24 frames a second, and there's no preview on the front window, but it's got a timer, which is pretty cool. We'll see if we can even like edit on this. 5K! All right, back to 4K 60. Got the preview back on the front window. About to wrap this run up. I'm gonna get back in the studio here in a second. I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm packing for my run tomorrow. Talk about a little bit of uh, maybe a game plan. So yeah, see you in a second. <clears throat> okay, so GoPro Hero 9, uh, awesome. It didn't feel any heavier when I was running. Like, of course, it's just a little bit heavier, but it didn't really feel that bad. The front screen was actually really nice. It was cool. Uh, I could see like when it was recording, like you were just totally sure of that. You could kind of frame yourself a little bit better. The back screen being bigger is awesome. The uh, graphics are just a little bit more spread out so you can see more of the uh, what you're actually shooting. Uh, the only thing that was a little bit weird was that the boot up and I guess like shut down time is a little bit slower. And I don't know if maybe that'll get better, like maybe they can get better with firmware updates, but when it was actually like when I hit record, it would just take another like maybe two or three seconds to actually start recording. Uh, and then the shutdown time, it would shut down like pretty much in about the same amount of time, but then there was about maybe like 10 seconds or so, a few times where I wasn't able to turn it back on. Cause that's one thing that I wanted to see. Uh, the GoPro Hero 8 did a pretty good job with it. Pretty much as soon as you shut it down, maybe about two seconds later, it was available to turn back on. Uh, so slight differences, um, but I think the front screen, I'm actually pretty sold on it now. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I recorded in 2.7K, 4K, and 5K. I recorded in 60 frames per second, 24 frames per second, GoPro colors, uh, flat colors. Uh, I don't know, we'll see what it looks like 
Typically, I think I'm probably gonna prefer the flat color so that I can do a little bit more color grading of my own. Uh, GoPro colors sometimes are just a little bit too burned in, like they're just a little bit too intense uh, sometimes. So we'll see what it looks like. All right, well, that's it for my GoPro Hero 9 uh, unboxing, first impressions, first run video. This is a big upgrade in my opinion, definitely with the screen on the front, the higher quality video, higher quality photos, bigger battery, which is, massive, massive improvements. Uh, I'm really, really excited. I really think that with just two batteries, I'll probably be able to get through most of my uh, races, maybe like even 100 milers. Like, I don't know, like maybe I only need two batteries. But yeah, really excited to use this tomorrow while I run my solo 50 miler. If you like this sort of stuff, ultra running, trail running, gear reviews, you wanna see more footage from the GoPro Hero 9, consider subscribing. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a whole lot more videos with this camera because this is my main running camera right now. So yeah, I'm really pumped to share it with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about the GoPro Hero 9, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Let me know. Um, but that is it. I need to finish this video. I'm actually done with it. I just need to put this clip in this video and then you're gonna watch it because <laughs> you already have. And then I need to get to bed because tomorrow I'm running 50 miles for fun by myself. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.